Hey guys, it's Brandy from Eternal Harvest, and today we're going to be talking playroom storage. We've had this closet for a little while since we finished our basement, but it did not have closet shelving inside. This is a really wide space, it's a little over 9 feet, so I'm going to show you today how I installed these shelves to help with storage. <laughs> So the first thing I needed to do was measure my space to figure out exactly what I needed in supplies. And Lowe's sells some particle board shelving already cut and bullnosed and ready to go, but it's only eight feet long. So I figured out because this is a little over that, I was gonna need a little extra materials than I thought in the first place. As usual, I'll make sure and include my supply list down in the description below. Everything was bought at Lowe's and I wanted to make sure I had enough materials to do three large shelves that wrapped around the side of the closet on the inside. So I'll put all that below in case you're interested in my supply list. Now because my kids made this huge mess, I made them come down and help me clear out the closet area so that I could build the shelves in order to store everything that is theirs. Once everything was cleared out, I began measuring where I wanted my shelving to be. I wanted them about 18 inches apart each, and so I marked that on the wall and got my supplies all together. I'm using Power Grab Loctite glue because it's really fast, drying, and really strong, and about two inch finish nails for the cleats. So I took my extra long level and I made a line where those marks were. The first line I decided to move up a little bit so it's actually 24 inches above the ground and then the other two are 18 inches apart. Next I found the studs with my stud finder right along that line and marked them so that I knew where to nail in my cleats. Next I put some Loctite glue on the back of the molding and put that up right along my line and then I nailed where the studs were. The first time I nailed there I used too short of nails and had to switch those out. So make sure you have the right size nails. And I did that all the way down. Next I grabbed some molding to cut down to size for the inside side walls of the closet where it wraps around in order to have some bracing or cleats on the side of the shelving as well. Now the depth of the closet on the inside is about 24 inches, so I cut these to 23 inches just to be sure I had enough room. I know not all my walls are level or straight. Next I cut down the particle board shelving that I had bought from Lowe's into 24 inch pieces each. Now my saw is a 10 inch sliding miter and it doesn't quite cut all the way through this 15 inch shelving. So each cut I needed to flip the board over to do the other side. It worked out fine. I was surprised at how heavy this particle board was. It's actually really heavy and I build furniture and work with wood all the time, but it was tricky. Then I took my molding down and repeated the same process for the side cleats as I did for the back cleats. Put on the Loctite glue and nailed into the studs. You're gonna wanna give that about 30 minutes to cure as well. Then I just did a quick dry fit with the shelves. For the long back pieces, I needed to trim down the eight foot pieces that I had. So I clamped those all together, measured out, and used my circular saw to trim off about three inches from the ends. I did boost them up with a couple four by four scrap pieces that I had lying around. Then I brought them in and did a quick dry fit and realized that this span was a little too long and it needed more bracing. I decided to make my own brackets with some molding that I had lying around. I cut one piece, it was a one by two, at 45 degrees on one side and another 45 degree cut on the other. They are not parallel. This will allow it to brace up the shelving and attach to the stud on the wall as well. I added my extra piece of molding here 
and then my 45 cuts will go in after the shelf is in place. I added some Loctite glue, lifted the shelf up. This is probably a two person job. I should have had a helper. And then you can put your 45 degree brace in there and nail all along the back side of the shelving into the cleat. Because the shelf was so long, this extra bracing was necessary and it really did the job. Worked out well and is really strong. Then I decided to install these two side shelves really quickly. Some glue, some nails, same process. And then I just repeated the process with the first one for the second two. Now I should mention that I love my finished nailer, but if you don't have a finished nailer, you can use screws in place just fine. But my nailer is honestly one of my favorite tools. I'm not sponsored, I just seriously love this thing. <laughs> Once everything is in place, I gave it about 24 hours to cure, but I also decided to bring some paper in and cover the floor for the painting the next day. I really hate painting a lot, and so after some thought, I decided that I would try and spray these shelves since it was kind of contained in the closet area. I hung up some of these curtains, some plastic to keep the overspray in, and put paper all along the floor. There was still a little bit of dust, but it worked out pretty well. Next, I spackle and fill all the nail holes first. Then I grab my painting gear and my Zinzer primer, which is my absolute favorite primer, and I got to spraying. This was just their typical sized can, but I ran out pretty quickly. So I decided I needed to do a Home Depot run and pick up their turbo can. Okay, so one of the issues that I ran into was that I ran out of primer. I had a small can and the nozzle spray zone was skinny and long like most spray cans are. Um, I considered using one of my spray guns because I have several, but I do want this to be a beginner project as with a lot of my videos. So I'm trying to do it without using things that most people don't have access to. And so instead, I went to Home Depot and Zinzer has this enormous turbo sized can. And I've used this in one other project, the door that I did, three panel door, I'll put a link somewhere up here. And um, it has a wider spray. Let's see if I can find. So right here it shows you, it sprays up to 10 inches wide. So instead of a long, narrow spray zone, it has a really long, wide spray zone. Now that being said, um, the downside is that it puts out a lot more product fast. So you need to stand kind of far away from your project and you need to know that it's kind of a fast movement and it's gonna cover a lot of space pretty quickly. But it's perfect for shelving, it's perfect for wide shelves. These shelves are about 15 inches deep, so this will be perfect. really quickly that you need to make sure you have protection. I wear a hat to protect my hair, I've got goggles for my eyes, especially in a small space like this, the paint's just going to blow right back at you. And make sure you have a respirator mask. Protect those lungs, you guys. Okay, you guys, the job is completed, and now I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes. I'm not taking this off yet. There's stuff everywhere in the air. Um, I'm gonna wait about 30 minutes before I put the final coat of paint on, but I'm gonna take you in and show you a quick pan because this stuff covers really well, and it took all of nine minutes total for me to spray the entire shelving unit, top and bottom. So I'm gonna take you and show you the coverage really quickly, and then I'll do the final coat. It covers really well. I love this stuff. Okay, so it doesn't look like it covers as well as it actually does because it's drying and my shadow is in the way. You can see my fingers there. But it really covers well. I'm impressed. Love this stuff. Um, and I'll come in with a final coat of paint. 
Okay, once everything was done, I gave it some time to dry and then cleaned up all my protection, paint protection, wiped up the floor a little bit. And that's it. I need to finish casing out the door. I'm gonna be adding a barn door to this area, a super large barn door. That's gonna be my next video, so stick around. But I'm really happy with how this project turned out. Everything worked out the way that I envisioned. It's really strong, and now we can put all the toys away. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and I have a website, eternalharvestdecor.com. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. It really helps out a lot, and if you want to, make sure you subscribe so you can see my next video. I'll see you guys next time.